Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have another guest design team project to share with you and it's uh, for Pion Design and that is a Swedish uh, company and I will put the link here below to the website where you can find the store finder and also a lot of inspiration and I will also post the link to Pinterest below the video so there you can also find a lot of uh, pictures of the papers and uh, uh, projects made with them. So this is the last of my projects made with a Sweet Baby collection from uh, Pion Design and I made a baby carriage. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, try to google search for the name or maybe it's called a stroller. But anyway, and it has a, a mini album inside. So this was really fun to make and here I got to create some from shipboard and I really love to do that. So I will show you this uh, karaoke f first and then I can show you the mini album after. So uh, for the side here I made a shape. I can show you a bit here. From, uh, I started out with a, a circle and uh, then I draw uh, the shape of it. And uh, I will post all these measurements on my blog if you like to know how to make it. So, and uh, for the side here, uh, I needed some wheels and then I thought about uh, Tim Holtz has a die. So I will show you the die. It's, um, I'll lay this down maybe. It's uh, this one and it's um, Gagnet gears and uh, they look like so. So what I did, I did uh, cut these out, uh, the ends here, and then I placed them the opposite way on top of each other. So here are four layers of uh, uh, medium weight shipboard, and also for this. And uh, this is uh, two layers here. And um, to hold uh, these uh, 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 wheels, I uh, used this die from uh, Sisix, it's Corner Flourish. And uh, for um, to holding it here, it's uh, this decorative uh, accent from C6 style. So, but all this you can also find on my blog. So, um, yeah. And then uh, I can show you a bit around here. I have a little beer inside here. It's supposed to lay in like so. Here. And uh, here are some uh, dangling, I uh, hope you can see it's a wrangle or rattle, I'm not sure. So this was silver and I just painted it. And uh, here I have an umbrella. So this was made from a cheesecloth and uh, to get to, uh, I cut out a circle. But first I uh, covered it with Claudine Helmut Multimat. So it uh, won't tear when I got the circle and then I glued on this uh, lace here around and just tied the bow around here. So and some seam binding here. And uh, when you are having a baby on a trip you have to have some diapers and uh, sew with. So I made this one and uh, it opens with uh, some magnets here. And uh, it's also magnets here. So here are the diaper and yeah, a little teddy bear you have to have with you and yeah, just stuck in some small tags from the paper collection here. And this border strip is also from the border co uh, or paper collection. And uh, some uh, lace under. So this goes on top here with a magnet. So I tied a little bow here and here I use my sutter bow maker and I can uh, make a really tiny bows even if uh, the ribbon is a bit uh, wide. So and I also took paper around here. Here I used um, it, it was a three a tree <laughs> stick for food. So I just cut it off and uh, took some paper around. And uh, uh, for this one. Uh, this was made from making some strips of shipboard in different sizes so they can slide over each other. So this thing can be uh, make around like so. 
but I choose to have it in squares so I just uh, bend over and a bit larger for each uh, time here so they can slide over each other like so so this can be taken down like so and uh, here I have a bow from seam binding and a lace here and uh, some pearl uh, uh, string here and I wasn't in frame <laughs> and um, some more uh, laces here and the Martha Stewart uh, border lace punch and here I layered uh, different um, uh, layers of uh, lace to get it wide enough and uh, I built it up from the inside first so I took some cheesecloth inside so maybe take the album out so I can show you so, so here you can see uh, maybe the cheesecloth inside so and I also have some uh, strips and baby feet here I think it's really cute inside here and also a mattress down here so, so I really love creating thing, things from my shipboard I think it's so fun so uh, now I will show you the mini album and uh, you see here it's uh, wide on the top and smaller on the bottom so I had to figure out how to place a mini album side inside so I made it uh, go like so so it's uh, wide on the top and it goes down so I can give you the measurements here it's about um, 8 by 5 I think but I will post all this on my blog if you like to know it so in the front here I have a um, a diaper I think it's called and uh, the tag with the baby inside here and some uh, lace around and a pillow here with some lace around so I just left it open here so I can stack something inside here to lift it up a bit so so she's laying in her bed and uh, the bed is really long but uh, it had to be like that and uh, when babies are small they just peek out a bit so I think it's okay so now for the first page here here I fussy cut around the page here a uh, border around and here it says it's a girl and that's uh, Sherry Lynn Dye and I have um, some tags inside here Lid 10 little fingers, 10 tiny toes the sweetest of smiles and a cute little nose all these add up to a very special thing, a baby, the greatest gift that love can bring. So I think that's a so nice quote. So yeah. <laughs> and um, here you can place a photo or do some journaling and uh, here I fussy cut out this stork here. So I think maybe I can zoom in a bit. So, so this goes inside here and some small tags here and I've also got this stork also and this I um, went over with my white paint dabber to get it a more soft look and also some fussy cut uh, butterflies here so here are just some tags so I can place a photo behind or do some journaling so they go inside here and for the next page here, I made some acetate um, tags, and this is a Sissix die. And uh, you see, this is uh, longer than the normal die, so I just uh, uh, placed uh, the cutting mat over to here, so it won't cut off. So then you can get it longer. So then I went around with a white paint dabber. And uh, here I made some flowers using Nelly Snell flower punches and it's the uh, same on uh, this side and this tag is, uh, tag is a bit smaller but it's uh, larger than the or original and a butterfly here with some stamens behind so um, this holds uh, these butterflies here holds the tag so it won't slide down so and here I have some pearl string and uh, some uh, laces so this uh, flips up like so and uh, if you see the stork comes out so uh, this is a cottage uh, cut tie 
I really love this one. I think it's so cute. And um, if you wonder how this was made, I uh, just uh, for this I cut out uh, um, cardstock paper and then I scored an angle here. So I just scored it uh, how wide I want it like so on both uh, sides. And then I bend this in. So. Try to show you here. <laughs> Hope it shows up. So. And now I didn't do it precise at all. <laughs> And when you open it, this folds out. So that way we, you can have this going down and when you open it, it uh, flips up. And here are some uh, tags with the same um, Nelly Snell punch here. And uh, this uh, fence, that I think it's from La La Land or Magnolia, I'm not sure. So and another flower and a little tag here. From the paper line. So this sticks behind here. So then we can close uh, this up here and it's also magnets behind here so uh, it will hold in place. So for the next page I fussy cut the stork again and uh, this was blue and I colored it in with white and went over a marker that's uh, a bit pink and also for the hat. And uh, give it a close up here. So, and it's a little tag behind here, and it says Glad News, born a name and weight. And uh, here is another tag, so all these are from the paper collection. And a butterfly here that I fussy cut out. So here you can do some journaling and place a photo here or anything. So, and if I didn't tell, all is covered up with a Claudine helmet multi-mat to make it uh, sturdy and uh, that it won't tear. So for the next page here, it's a banner here and it says uh, baby. And this is a La La Land uh, die and uh, Martha Stewart um, alphabet punch here on top here. And here are some small tags and a pocket here with um, Martha Stewart uh, punch again and uh, some lace from Wild Worker Crafts and also flat back pearls from Wild Worker Crafts. So they stuck inside here. So I think I want this behind peeking out. And this can be flipped up this way. Like so. And here I made a banner with a, it's a magnet under this banner. So it will hold the tag. So it won't slide down. So I can place a photo under here. Do some journaling and uh, and here is another tag from the, this was uh, the one from the first page. The uh, baby was lying in the bed. So here is another po pocket with uh, some lace and this is a stamping up punch. And the bows are uh, cut off from the paper. And um, all the laces around the pages here, except for one, I think, is from Wild Orca Crafts. So I will link to them below. They are really beautiful laces. So this was this side. Some seam binding bow here with a pearl here. And for the next one, here I used um, a Joycraft uh, door and window die. And this uh, can be opened up, it's a magnet behind it, and just some tags inside here. And this uh, bow punch is from Marta Stewart. And a little girl here behind. And here is another die cut, I think it's Magnolia. And some laces for a pocket and some border strips from the paper line. And a butterfly here and a cherry lin leaf. Uh, uh, die here. And for the other side here, the window can be opened up so I can place a photo behind here. And I also cut out this little girly here from the paper line. And some more leaves here and uh, 
butterflies from the paper line and uh, this is um, stamping a punch and this uh, flips open sort of a hidden page here so it's magnets inside here so it flips open like so so here are a little cute baby with some tags behind and I can place a photo here and do some journaling here or anything so and uh, first I got out uh, this uh, carriga I challenged myself to cut out in between the wheels here, so it was a quite a job, but it was fun. So, and the butterfly with the, from the paper line. And this can also be open this way here. So it's magnets on both sides. So this is a cutout from uh, uh, Quick Cuts. And, um, it's a sort of a Christian uh, christening <laughs> dress and uh, made a bow here. And a tag again from the paper lines that can be taken up to place a photo here. And a border strip from uh, the paper line. And uh, on the other side here, here's some more uh, pockets with a flower here and can place a photo. Another tag here, like so, and some butterflies. So, can also be taken out and displayed like so. So, that was uh, that page, and now for the last one. Uh, here I made a banner with uh, some clothes, and uh, this is a cut it, uh, cut, cut die. So, all these uh, dies here are uh, cut it gothic uh, cuts so I can just uh, show you them to you and uh, this one so and uh, here is a pocket with uh, two tags and uh, this lace is from creative scrapping and this lace was from my stash all the other on the outside here are from wild dog crafts and uh, a yeah, supporter from the paper line and um, this is a tie from a memory box, I think. And uh, I glued some lace behind here. So we can be taken out some small tags here. And uh, yeah. So I think this was so cute hanging down here. So. And this can be flipped up like so. So this is also a die from Memory Box and a bow from uh, uh, Martha Stewart Punch and a paper border strip from the paper line. And I fussy cut out this uh, stork and uh, placed a little tag here behind and a butterfly here. Martha Stewart Punch with some statements. So uh, this was uh, the last page and now for the back side here. This is also from uh, the paper line. I just cut it out and uh, this can be used as a frame so you can put the photo inside here. So uh, this was so fun to make and I uh, really had a great time. And uh, on the side here, on the spines, I cut um, uh, strips uh, of one and a half and scored at half and one and then put under the pages here and uh, that creates uh, the binding here and uh, then I just glued on some lace over here so this was my album or my project here so uh, thank you so much for watching everyone and I uh, also want to thank you all for your sweet uh, comments it really means a lot to me and uh, yeah you're so kind so uh, have fun creating everyone and take care. Bye bye.